Good evening, everybody. Once again, welcome back to the Alabunaga show. And today, uh, before we start our show, we would like to request everyone, all the audience, to maintain uh, one minute silence for the people who lost their life. Thank you so much. We had a very hard week and we all know what happened and uh, people around the world, people around Nagaland are mourning at the moment. And uh, we had to cancel our last Sunday also as a sign of respect and also the uh, team in Musica, we were planning for Musica Festival but we had to postpone that also. And all the artists flew here and so, one of the artists, the guest today, came all the way from Mizoram for the festival, but the festival was postponed, so we thought, why not do this show? And today on the hot seat with me is none other than the very famous, one of the most established, one of the pioneer hip-hop artists from Northeast, Jenny from Mizoram. Hi, brother. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having me, man. Pleasure, pleasure. <coughs> and yeah, thank you so much for coming all the way, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, we are so blessed to have you here today. Likewise. Yeah. So uh, welcome to Nagan, first of <laughs> all, once again. And uh, we would like to know about your background. You know, uh, maybe some of the audience might not know you. So if you can share us about your background and also about, <coughs> you know, your family, your life, anything uh -huh. that you want to share about yourself. Yeah. Well, my background... Um, Contrary to what I think a lot of people think, I'm not from a well-off family. <laughs> uh, very broken family, actually. So I grew up, my parents got separated when I was uh, 10 and have been pretty much a drifter ever since, you know, drifting here and there. Mm -hmm. No permanent address stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Typical of her, you know, mm -hmm. a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most rappers. <clears throat> anyway. So that's pretty much the gist of it, my background. And um, I grew up, I studied whatever, I did whatever I could. Uh, when I turned 20, I went to Bangalore and, and just, you know, got a job mm -hmm. in some of the BPO companies and things like that. My music, music has always been a part of me ever since I was a kid, especially hip hop uh, with, with my, you know, uh, um, upbringing and, and the way I, I grew up, I related to hip hop a lot more. I, I feel like, you know, especially we from, from, from the Northeast, I think mm -hmm. we have a, um, a lot of similarities with, uh, with the, uh, the African-American cultures, mm -hmm. the black communities <clears throat> and, and yeah. stuff like that. You know, there, there, there was a point when I was a teenager, there, were, there was a point where I really felt like, you know, one of those street gangsters. Mm -hmm. um, so I lived the life. I li um, hip hop ran through my vein for, mm -hmm. for, for the most part of my life. And it, it, it brought me up. It made me um, who I am today. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I was so rootless, rootless as in with, with no root, just mm -hmm. like a leaf blowing in the wind. But hip hop was the only, was the only thing that, um, how do I say this, would, that I connected to, like mm -hmm. a constant in my life, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's how, that's how, um, that's pretty much my background, you know? Okay. So who were the artists you were listening to? I mean, you I, I was listening to um, mostly, uh, it started with Tupac, yeah. um, Bone Tux and Harmony. <clears throat> Uh, Snoop Dogg, the whole mm -hmm. West Coast, you know, Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. and yeah, pretty much the West Coast, the, okay, the West, West Coast. Coast was what 
um, got me into hip hop. Okay, I think everyone started with Tupac. G Funk, know? yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, at what age did you start rapping? And uh, like, I started rapping. I started writing when I was 15. Okay, I remember. <laughs> okay. Um, and the first time I set foot in, in a studio was I was probably 18. Okay, in I Mizoram. Think. Yes, yes, okay, in Mizoram. Okay. Okay. I recorded so, my first verse. Oh, nice. For a fish. So, uh, to the audience, how would you describe your kind of music? You know, my, I was, I would always, when I was younger, I would always uh, describe my music as you know gangster rap. Okay. Because I was so gangster man, when I was growing up. It's, it's <laughs> funny looking back now. Uh huh. Um, really felt like a a freaking gangster, like um, with the influence of you know Tupac, Snoop, and all that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it started with gangster rap, and then I got into battle rap. Mm -hmm. When when Eight Mile came out in two thousand one, I think I got hooked to ba battle rap, and I started doing online mm. online battles and stuff like that. Ooh. And it got you know I I went up higher and higher at ranking levels and and mm -hmm. things like that. So it was international, you know. We, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, it was. I used to be on Orkut, you remember Orkut? Yes, Orkut, Orkut. Yeah. There were a lot of uh, hip hop communities there. I used to look them up, um, <coughs> join them and just b battle with random people from across the world. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's how I started, you know. Wow, cool. I mean, like a kid from North East of India yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. coming and then battling with people. Thanks to technology and internet now, yes, yes. you know, that whole mm -hmm. exposure. Okay, now let's talk about music in uh, Mizoram. You know, uh, we grew up listening to Mizo singers, you uh -huh. know. I, I think they were the biggest among all the Northeastern musicians, I, I think for us especially, because Nagas, we could relate more with Mizo singers maybe, and then also the gospel music and the Christian uh -huh. music and all. So um, how's the music scene at the moment? Because we, when we grew up, like we, you guys were the pioneer, you guys were the role model for most Nagas, you know, even the church music, the choral, we always look up and even till today, you know, people want like always like, oh, they always look up to Mizo singers, you know. Mm -hmm. So how's the music scene at the moment, according to you, in Mizoram? That's so good mm -hmm. to hear, first of all, you know, mm -hmm. your, your perspective of the Mizo music industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, music has always big in Mizoram, but <clears throat> there are a few people who do uh, music full time and um, music being their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. um, but there's not a lot. Okay. Um, and you know we have a population of like 11 lakh, mm -hmm. so it, it can't be that big. But as 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 small as the com community is, music is so big, and people are already you know. Um, uh, using music as a career, ha mm -hmm. have, uh, music as a career, and and yeah, it, it's just big, man. Every genre, I I, I feel like you know, mm -hmm. uh, pop mostly uh, all over the world is always the yeah, biggest, yeah, pop, the, the biggest music, genre. Yeah. But uh, even even hip hop is growing. Rock has always been big. Yeah. Um. So yeah, mm. it's it, it's thriving, and I think we have a uh, a good future. The system are, you know, the system is coming into place. I guess. So, mm -hmm. post COVID, I think things were things are gonna get better. Yeah, um, there are there are more people who are you know investing um, in the music industry and mm -hmm. labels are uh, popping up and. Wow, well, mm, glad so. to hear that. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, I just. Uh, I, I, this is from my observation as a musician because mm -hmm. even me, I've been in this industry for more than a decade right now, uh -huh. in a food, doing full time music. Yeah, yeah. So, what I see from uh, my friends from Mizoram is like uh, sometimes I feel like they're very confined, in the, like, you know, uh, know. the Mizo art, especially. Mm -hmm. They're very comfortable with themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't know. They were those days, you know. Uh, there were a lot of artists coming out, you know, uh, out of Mizoram, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but then slowly, slowly, we don't see much artists, you know. So what do you, outside, yeah, yeah, venturing out. They were, I mean, yes. Nowadays we see our records, and there are mm. some few artists coming out, but we don't see much. So it, what do you think is the main reason, you know? We are such a close knit <laughs> community. We are not used to, you know. Uh, to connecting with other, you know, mm -hmm. other parts of the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I guess that's the main reason. We, um, like you said, it's very true. We're so confined in our own little bubble, mm -hmm. and we definitely need to venture out and and go further. Um, I just think 
it's a lack of confidence for a lot of people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, their a lack of confidence to step out of their comfort zone, which is, you know, Mizoram. And we really have a little world of our own there, you know. Mm -hmm. it's every, everything is just, just confined in Mizoram and it's, it's hard for people to step outside. Even to speak another language is, yeah. is you know, a problem mm -hmm. for a lot mm -hmm. of people. Um, so we're, we're just not used, we, we just got to get used to it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's not just Mizoram, but most mm. of the Nautist people, um, mm. we are so comfortable with ourselves, our community, you know, yeah. like you study outside, I studied outside. So, example, like when we're in Delhi, Bangalore also, mm. you see Nordistan only with Nordistan people, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we always, you know, when you're hanging out, you know, even in music, you only, there are very less people going out and making a band with know, uh, yeah. other people, right? So I think we need to get out of our comfort zone also, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to grow, that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. And all the musicians also, uh, for me, when I started my career, I, n I was never focusing on Nagaland mm. because I knew it, the population is less as you talk about it right now. And there's a saturation point where you can't grow more than that because yes. that's the limit. But when you get out of it, the, it's limitless, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want to encourage all the musicians from Northeast, you know, whoever is watching this, think outside the box and, you know, think big. I think like we discussed briefly earlier, mm. I think the language barrier is the biggest barrier to cross. Yeah. You know, mm. especially for Mizos. Um, we, are, we are so um, isolated from the rest of the country mm -hmm. um, with, with the IP, uh, ILP, ILP in, in, yeah. the inner line permit and everything. Yes, we yes, don't yes. see a lot of other, other people coming, coming into Mizoram. We don't, we don't mingle with other, um, you know, mm. communities and, mm. and, and we don't speak other languages. And that's, that's, that's a problem for us, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I think uh, we need to come out of a conference yes, and that's, do something that's exactly out of the thing. That, yeah. yeah, that's, that's what, uh, This is where, again, we were discussing, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about Nortis, uh, Arunachal and um, SM, Assam, they have advantage of speaking Hindi, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the rest of yes, the states, we are not so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, used to with Hindi language and all. Yes. So I guess language plays a big role also. But again, it's a blessing for me also, as we discussed, because uh, you have only one language, example, for a singer, you know, mm -hmm. you sing that the whole Mizo from Myanmar, from India, from around the world, they listen to you. But for me and Naga, I sing Sema, it's just a small community, mm -hmm. right? So it's a blessing it's even, again, you know. It's even worse so and then that also bring your people together, yes. I believe. So uh, moving ahead with our hip hop topic tonight. Um, are you aware of the uh, hip hop artists from Nagaland, like uh, some I, of them? I know Mokokoza. Okay. I know Big Dane. Okay. Um, uh, Don Cam is he? He's, he's Nagaland, right? Don oh. Cam. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know, oh. I don't. Know. I thought he was from Nagaland. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Th those are the two prominent ones that I that, okay, uh, okay. that I know. So according to you, who's the best in Nagaland? I think f right now I'm really I really like Big Dane, man. Okay, I really Big like Dana. his sound. I'm a big fan of yeah. this boy, man. It's I good. like his sound. It's, yeah. It sounds very authentic and, and true from the heart, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Everything oh, is fits. Glad to hear that. So, again, you uh, we, we all heard in your song, Con, but then who's the best rapper from Nortis? I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already uh, know. Maybe, yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> man, I can't, I can't wait to interview BK and all these people and then, you know. <laughs> they will all say, I mean, you're, they, they're yeah. supposed to say they're the best, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's just part of hip-hop. The, com mm -hmm. the competitive spirit is always there. And but yeah, that, people, that's the spirit, you know. Yeah, that, that's the spirit. Yeah. So let's talk about hip hop culture. I know how how do you think like hip hop culture influenced Nortis in, in do you think you know hip in any hop way? is a hip hop is a um a powerful influence all over the world. Okay. You know, it's the biggest music genre nowadays. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, it's it's huge. The influence mm -hmm. is huge in Nortis. See, there was a time when <clears throat> hip hop especially around this place, hip hop they were, we didn't hear much of hip hop, you know. Mm. The rock and the pop was always domi dominating yes, the yes, industry. Yes. But then lately we see a lot of, <clears throat> you know, mm. the hip hop artists coming up also. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you say about the hip hop scene currently in Nortis? And are you happy the way it's going? Uh, yes, yes, <clears throat> definitely. Mm -hmm. I think um, that w one thing I have to say th though is um, at this point in my life personally, mm -hmm. I am. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of hip hop as I used to be. Like I'm not as plugged in or tapped in as I as I used to be. 
because of you know my personal journey and my personal growth and stuff like that. So it's if I feel like I've outgrown hip hop as a culture. Mm -hmm. I'm still into it as an art form. Okay. I I I still love the art form. I still love creating, you know, mm -hmm. writing okay. and stuff like that. But I'm not as um plugged in and, and as connected as I as I used to be. So I don't know what's happening around me or what new song or what new albums are dropping. Mm -hmm. Um I'm just I'm just not that you know plugged in I, i'm just i'm just focusing on me and my brand of hip-hop i just want to promote my brand of hip-hop okay. and it comes from like I'm, I'm a bit disillusioned with the current state of hip-hop okay. to be honest mm -hmm. you know hip-hop used to be um true and it, it used to be yeah. you know a, a tool to you know express yourself uh -huh. and your grief and and, and and social commentaries and stuff like that but nowadays it's just these frivolous ignorant it's it's just over oversaturated <coughs> with this kind of stuff and yeah. and it's been so commoditized and like watered down and I feel like yeah I'm not that into hip hop anymore. Okay. I'm just I'm just focusing on pushing my brand of hip hop, which is going to be di very different. I'm working mm -hmm. on an album okay. right now. When my album drops, um, I hope and my vision is mm -hmm. that it's going to be a game changer. Oh, so <coughs> when can we expect your new album? Uh, next year. Right, right now I'm focusing on one other project, <coughs> not music related. Okay. Um, <coughs> which uh, will be done by <coughs> April if everything goes as planned. Um, well, after that, yeah. yeah. We'd love to have you here, you know, touring Nagli. Of course, also. man. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, for those who don't know, we are also working on a project and, you know. Yes, yeah, yes. Our, our, our song will come out very soon, so stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. And um, so next question is like, what's, what differentiates you from those wannabe rappers? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess what, um, I guess I'm a student of the game. Like, mm -hmm. I'm one of the very first mm -hmm. people who who were like really studying hip hop from the history and who started it, where it started mm -hmm. and things like that. I went from everything to studying the art of it, mm -hmm. just just re really studying, like breaking it down to the science of it. And that's what makes me different from uh, from everybody else. Not not a lot of people <coughs> would who would even um, notice the difference mm -hmm. because <coughs> When you're not into the art form, like if even if, even a guitarist, for like say for example, like mm -hmm. I wouldn't know who's who's a better um, guitarist, Steve I or Joe Cicchini. Mm -hmm. I I I can't I can't compare them like from a technical standpoint. Um, similarly, rap. A lot of people don't understand, you know, the difference between what I do and what other people are doing, yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and it's fine. But you know. Okay. Cool. I know what we it respect is. you for that. You know, well, I mean, uh, for those who know the sense of hip hop, we we can feel that we see that. You know, yes. and then mm -hmm. we respect you for that. Actually, you know, and then uh, moving ahead, um, when you talk about writing your song, how long does it take in the writing process to finish a song? Usually, for you, you know, or how how is your writing process? You know? it, it depends. It depends. <laughs> okay. uh, some some songs, some some verses come like this. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't even take much time mm -hmm. uh, and some songs would take months uh, so it, it really depends you know okay. how, how, how it hits me you know the topic of the of the verse and things like that okay cool now let's talk about the beef you know uh, 2010 was uh, sorry 2020 was crazy you know and then that was like we it was so entertaining also for those who, who are not into hip-hop also you know, uh -huh, everyone uh -huh. you know and that's I think that people started you know giving the interest in hip-hop also for those people who don't listen to hip-hop also yes. and that's where they started uh, discovering a lot of hip-hop artists also mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so how did it all started that especially the song well, let's talk about corn you know what made you write that <coughs> song and, you know yeah so it started uh, uh, a while ago mm -hmm. I was calling out BK in a battle mm -hmm. uh, I was battling <coughs> another dude and before I started getting on my verse, I, I called out BK. Okay. And um, so, and and I also called him out on the Facebook Facebook mm -hmm. status mm -hmm. because he's a battler, mm -hmm. you know, and and he's he's like one of the most uh, known rapper in the, in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. And me as a competitor, I always want to test myself against the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So I called him out. He declined. And I was like, okay, cool. I oh, thought nothing of it. And then out of nowhere, he dropped a diss track. 
Yeah. And it was, you know, a subliminal diss track. And then, okay, is that if that's how you want to play it, then I dropped Korn. Mm -hmm. And before I wrote Korn, my mentality was that if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to give them something to talk about, like the whole Northeast is going to talk about. I'm going to make a very bold statement. Mm -hmm. And then I, okay, let's, let's proclaim that I'm the king of the king of the Nordis, Nordis yeah. and it got every, it got everyone's attention so yeah and then Moko came with uh, Aladdin. Aladdin so what do you yeah. say about that you know? um, yeah it was it was a good track it was a good track but nothing came close to Cone though technically okay okay you still believe that was the best yes okay so, I can objectively say that that was okay. the best so if you have to read the next let's say first round is up Whom are you giving it? In the in, entire, you know, there was beef. Everyone was coming. Which I would ones? give it. I would actually give it to Bun Job. He did a very good, oh. uh, good job. Okay. And there was this other dude that caught my attention. Um, he he was he was with Don Cam. Okay. Uh, J something. J P. I don't. J Pollen. No, not that one. Okay. Not then. not J Pollen. He's okay. He, um, another dude. Oh, J Pollen is also from Nagaland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Um. Jay something, so he he got a few bars that caught my attention. No, so those are the two. Okay, so uh, everyone was waiting for the battle between you and you know, uh, Moko, <laughs> uh, and then uh, we, we for the viewers uh, you know we have just postponed our festival because of the incident, but we're coming back and uh, what can we expect from the battle? How? A bloodbath. Okay. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, I cannot like I, I'm a completely different person when I get into this rap mode, especially in battle rap. You know. Okay. Um, I can't tone myself down. Like I have to go like full on. You mm -hmm. know, beast mode. Okay. I have to turn my beast mode on. Uh, if if I can't do that, then it, there, there's no point. You yeah. know. So I'm a completely different person when I'm on that stage. So. That's what you you can expect. Like you can expect a completely different person than than who you're talking to right now. Okay, you know? cool. We're yeah, like, we're looking forward. To it. Yeah. <laughs> so be before savage. we go to the next segment, I would like you to look in the camera and say a message for Moko at the moment. Hey, you better come with your A game, bro. A plus 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 plus. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can't beat me in a battle, like. <laughs> wow. With this, we've come to the end of the first segment. And Moko, I think you have to do a lot of homework, but uh, you know, we can't wait. And all the viewers, if you want to see this battle, you have to come to Musica Festival. We'll come after this break. Thank you so much. back to the second segment of the Alabanaga show in conversation with my friend Jeannie from Mizoram. So uh, before we start, I would like to give a shout out to Decors and Design. Decors and Design are, you know, if you are looking for interior or exterior design, they are one of the best, you know. And the interesting thing is like the co-founder is, you know, just a teenager, you know, and uh, they have like eight years of work experience and, uh, uh, you know, the deals with any kind of wood works like furnitures also, you know, uh, and then interior and exterior design. So uh, we have uh, given the link below. So if you're looking for a designer, you know, we have it here, you know, cover decors and design. So please check them out. And today, uh, We have this uh, White Square products here, and then we will play music from here. So White Square is a karaoke system with uh, music. It comes with the screen, you know, um, the speaker, so you can use it anywhere. It's a bat battery amp, so it gives you five to eight hours of battery, you know, 12,000 AMH, so you can 
take it, go for a picnic without electricity, just go have fun. So this is white square. And if you want to buy this, you can come to Musica Festival. We are setting up a stall for this and you can have one of, you know, welcome back. And so sorry for all the advertisement, no all the promotion. Anyway, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to do a small game okay so we want to see how much you know about naga hip-hop artists okay <laughs> so we're gonna play a music and we want you to guess the artist okay cool so let's start with the first track and yes no i'm not a white boy in the name of the i don't play around with no toys but i still got a sweat just no denies and i'ma put my city on the map huh? so it's time to pull the mask off put all these guns back to the circle is it Jay Pollen? Yeah, Jay mm. Pollen. Woo! One point, okay. Let's uh, yeah, play the next track. That sounds like Moko Koza. Okay, no, it's a it's a guy called Psycho. Oh, okay. K four. Okay, Psycho K four. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, heard of his name. Okay, cool. Mm. Glad to know that. Okay, let's go with the next track. Please forgive me for my ways. This poverty been tempting me. I know this. Yeah. yeah. Big day. Big day. So easy, huh? Mm. Cool. Let's uh, hit the next track. Yeah, Haven't heard it that before. Okay, TS Genesis, it's a really good artist coming up. Okay, should, yeah, 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 yeah. I should yeah. check them out. Like, yeah. like I said, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not always on the lookout for, for yeah. new artists and what's happening around mm -hmm. me. I'm all, I've always been focused on myself, so I don't know a lot of these artists, but... Yeah, yeah. These are all upcoming artists, so yeah. They're, I, sounding, I, I, they're yeah. sounding very good. I'm glad mm -hmm. to hear that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next track, please. Hello, all my people, I'm still back again. Ever since my fourth break, I've been smashing waves. Moko? Been a mama's boy, they mistake me for... Is it Moko? Yeah. yeah. Woo! You got it right. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. This is a new artist, and I don't know whether you've heard it, but then a, a new kid in the block, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. The name of the song is King of Jungle. Mm. So this boy is also performing in the festival. His okay. name is Nentong Konyak. Okay. Okay, you should check him out. It's like yeah, he just yeah, had yeah. one track, Definitely but then would. Yeah. Mm. Uh, next one, please. Okay, you're sitting with the artist. <laughs> what? You? It's my song. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know. <laughs> um, I mean, for those who don't know, I started my uh, career as a rapper. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> those days, I, I think, uh, way back 2000, yeah, I, 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 I was, I think, probably. You used to rap rap? Yeah. Wow, uh, I didn't uh, know that, man. Tupac, Eminem, like never, uh, you know, 50 Cent. You know. I never pegged you for forever. No, no, no. I, don't, I mean, I, I tried. Mm -hmm. Okay, l the last track, I want you to guess it, you know. Maybe I'll give you just maybe three seconds, okay? And then, you, or maybe four seconds and you have to guess this track, Chalo. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Moko Koza. Yeah, the, uh, the the track, yeah. Uh, Thank you so much, man. You, no you know, you know, you know, game. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you a microphone, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a situation and you, you have to freestyle right now. Wow. Okay, okay. cool. Oh, I haven't been honing my freestyle game. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know how. Okay, just, just see to it if you can't, if you, okay? Okay. Try my so, best. Uh, Okay, so we, we, we all know what happened recently, mm -hmm. right? The Black Day, you know, the 4th of December, mm -hmm. you know, uh, civilians were, you know, shot dead. So we want you to talk about that maybe in, in your way a little bit, you know, just freestyle okay. the recent situation, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, we did oh. beat. All right. Okay, you got the beat ready. <laughs> Man. Not the, not the beat, Charlie. Acha, without the beat. Let's do it without the beat, ne? No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, fine. Beat, okay, chala. Beat. Okay, chala. Without the beat. Uh, with beat, chala. Let's try. Okay. Okay. We had a problem in Mizoram with the borders and everything. Now the Nagas have a problem at the border and it's, it was unfortunate at the core of it. It's, I hope it's not worsening. We gotta keep the peace, we gotta, what's the ASFP? Yeah, right? office, but yeah. Out of the state, out of the way, out of the way. We gotta do it, we gotta keep the peace, we gotta. <laughs> Woo! None of you can harm me, we win what army, oh. Yeah, wow, <laughs> wow. awesome. Okay, uh, so, uh, uh, against Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, without, let's, uh, no beat and then just go, without Aladdin, uh, for okay, Aladdin, man. against Aladdin, chala. Ah oh, man, it's G Nizzy, you know me, you see me on TV, on IGTV and everything, you giving you the heebie jeebie. What's Aladdin, what's Aladdin gonna do to a genie? I got the magic. I got that rap shit, I stay active, I practice, you know what I mean? Woo. You can't beat me in a battle, bro, it's a, it's a rap, man. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> awesome. Okay, just for fun, the last one, uh, the struggle you go through inside the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I guess I'm... Um, Oh, I'm trying to freestyle, but this shit ain't coming out like I'm constipated. I run invaded. Oh, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to say it. I'm freestyle and I go slow because it's kind of fun. I could also go fast like it's Ramadan. I don't know, man. I just keep the flow with the beat. I'm feeling it. I'm killing it. You feeling it. I'm Every rhyme multisyllabic, you know what it is It's Genizzy in the building as I go with the flow Freestyling, oh so dope, oh <laughs> Man, thank you so much, Jenny. Thank, thank you, you for being sport. And no yeah, problem, man. you guys know it. You know, he's such a talented guy. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, accepting the request, and thank you for coming down. And you know, no and problem, then uh, yeah, man, it's a pleasure. Yeah, and then uh, we'll see you next week, and we would love to see the blotch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, uh, if you want to see the battle come, it's gonna be awesome, and then we can't wait for the day. And uh, before we leave, uh, there are a lot of. Uh, your fans here in Nagaland. Mm -hmm. So if you have any message, and then also to your fans in Mizoram, if you want, you can speak. I uh, would love to speak in Mizoram also. I mean, mm -hmm. in Mizo. So if you can have a message for them in Mizo sure, and in sure, English sure, also, sure. yeah, please. Yeah. yeah, it's it's thanks, love. Um, the support has been so great. Um, um, one of the most, probably one of the most followed, mo most viewed uh, rappers in the Northeast. I believe so that's very overwhelming and and I'm humbled uh, by your support uh, for your continued support thank you so much I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna do my best to give you the best of me uh, next year is gonna be a good year you know the COVID situation has helped me back a little bit but next year we're gonna come back with a bang please watch out and uh, yeah man peace and love thanks man thank you buddy no yeah. problem with this, we've come to the end, and, and uh, we wish you all the best with your uh, album, and mm -hmm. we're really looking forward, and yeah, Musica would love to host you for that uh, album promotion tour, Absolutely, I mean, anytime yeah. you need our help, we are always there for you, yeah, and then uh, we will be, we'll be touring, for those who don't know, we are planning uh, to go on a tour for the Northeast uh, next year, so hopefully we come to Mizoram and you know to mm -hmm. interview more people and mm -hmm. we'd love to have you see you there also yeah mm -hmm. thank you so much buddy and then yeah no problem, all the best man. and you. we'll see you yes. soon yeah with this we've come to the end of this episode i hope you guys had fun and all the viewers uh, you know don't forget to subscribe to his, subscribe to his channel and then uh, you can follow him on instagram facebook we have given the link below and we'll see you next week and all the people uh, in Nagaland, we're having a Musica Festival, so please do come and support us and come and support all the artists who are performing and 
yeah, we'll see you and take care. And lastly, we pray that the government of India will repeal AFSPA. Thank you. God bless.